Hi everybody, Colin Singer here. Today I want to talk about an important topic that concerns all businesses in Canada, and that is attracting labor and talent. This is a challenge for obvious reasons. Unemployment in Canada is at historic lows. Uh, last month, the national rate of unemployment is 5.3%. Quebec leading the way at 4.1%. It indicates without a doubt that across the country, employers are finding it increasingly difficult to find the labor they need to run their businesses. It's as simple as that. The solution is one in which employers may not be aware of, and that is going overseas and tapping into a large pool of qualified workers, and that is the international talent pool, bringing into Canada foreign workers. For many employers, it sounds daunting. It sounds bureaucratic and it sounds time consuming. And for many who aren't aware of how the process works, this can be true. Uh, the fact remains, there are nearly 200,000 foreign workers in Canada at any given time under a range of programs and policies that the Canadian government supports. The process is generally, if you know what, how it works, it's quite simple. But for those who aren't familiar with it, understandably, it can be bureaucratic. You need to obviously get approvals. And it's not just paperwork, but it's starting with a process where the Canadian authorities confirm that the labor market will not be negatively or adversely affected. So we call that a labor market impact assessment. And once you have a candidate that you would like to hire, that you found has the credentials and qualifications to meet the job that you want to fill, we start with a confirmation by Service Canada called an LMIA. Uh, once that process concludes, once there's a positive assessment, we then go to the foreign mission abroad and apply for a work permit. So that in a nutshell is the process and how we go about it. Obviously people in the field <clears throat> can work with you and um, shorten the process by submitting a perfected application to begin with. The LMIA process really uh, can be concluded if everything is well done that requires advertising in certain media uh, for a certain period of time to confirm uh, that the labor market has been consulted, uh, you've scoured uh, the local labor market, and you can confirm that there in fact are no takers for the position that you want to fill. For some positions, you don't really need to show that the labor market has been uh, verified because for certain types of positions, like IT professionals, certain types of healthcare professionals, that confirmation has already been done by the Canadian authorities and they exempt Canadian employers from having to prove a shortage of available Canadians. Uh, so knowing that process is very important and that entire process generally takes one month from the time you've done your advertising for 30 days and such. Once you have a uh, decision rendered on that particular stage one, we can go overseas and apply for the work permit. Generally, we're talking about positions where we're dealing with professionals of sort. Uh, the process will allow you to apply for a work permit and the accompanying dependents can also qualify for temporary visas. The spouse in, in all cases will be entitled to an open work, work permit. The, the, the main applicant will be tied to the employer and the spouse can work for any employer. So it allows for a family to relocate to Canada. And that's important, obviously, for an applicant when considering Canada as a destination to, to work in. Uh, the cost generally is $1,000 from the stage one. Each employer would have to pay a $1,000 fee to Service Canada. and the uh, actual work permit uh, and temporary resident visa process costs 
a few hundred dollars uh, for each accompanying dependent. Of course, if there are students involved, uh, they can apply and qualify to have a study permit uh, so that they can go to school uh, in, in, in the area where you will settle. Uh, recruiting foreign workers is an area that uh, you can seriously consider. You can work with a professional. Um, and we work at immigration.ca through our sister uh, uh, company, uh, skilledworker.com. We work with a number of HR managers, small business owners in identifying uh, the areas where their talent might be best sourced. Uh, many considerations go into that process. Uh, obviously, there is language requirements. There could be licensing requirements depending on the occupation. So if you are looking for individuals in IT, uh, in healthcare, in trades, in um, a number of areas beyond, uh, depending where you are, uh, the foreign labor market is a valuable tool that you should consider in sourcing the talent you need to grow your business. Um, retaining foreign workers afterwards is an, uh, consideration for many employers. And of course, if you're bringing in talent, they are going to want to know that they can remain in Canada. And of course, Canada does offer Canadian permanent residence to the worker and the accompanying dependents. Uh, and once we have the applicant and family in Canada, there are different programs and avenues that we could look at depending on the province, depending on the occupation. For example, if you are uh, a professional in healthcare, uh, some of the provinces have very high demand occupations in which the provincial government will quickly uh, approve uh, a family, an applicant and family uh, for Canadian permanent residence. Generally, it takes about 12 to 18 months in current processing times to finalize the permanent residence side of things. If you are considering, if first of all, if you are having hiring challenges as an HR manager or a small business owner or a large company, uh, we can help in sourcing your talent and in quickly bringing your talent to Canada under various programs. Take a look at our website at immigration.ca. We have the information there for you. There's forms that you can fill out and we will quickly respond, come back to you, and we'll engage in a call and guide you on all of the formalities you need to consider, uh, as well as the cost in considering this option to staff your business. Like our content, follow us on social media. Look forward to seeing you soon.